Ponev, Knieva, Bargur, Beftwa. Well, no, that can't be right. This text must be encoded. A code is a system of rules to convert information, such as a letter, a word, into another form of representation. In this case, the code is quite simple. It has been constructed by replacing each letter with the letter's certain positions down the alphabet. To make the text readable again, this action has to be undone. This cipher is just one example for a code. There are many more. A nature, for example. Perhaps the most important natural code is the genetic code. This is a set of rules to translate DNA into protein. The unit of information is called a codon. This particular code is used in the majority of species, but not in all. There are species that use minor deviations, for example replace stop codons with an amino acid, and some even have a dual decoding and decide by context. Other deviations affect a sense codon. Two of these are found in yeasts where COG is translated as serine or as alanine. What the genetic code and man-made codes have in common is that each piece of information has an unambiguous translation. Or do they? We have discovered the first example where this rule is broken. In the yeast Asquidea asiatica, the COG codon is stochastically translated into either leucine or serine. Most yeasts, including baker's yeast, translate COG as leucine. A distinct group, including human pathogens, translates COG as serine. And yet another yeast translates COG as alanine. This suggests a common fundamental event in yeast evolution. In our study, we found a second species translating COG as alanine. And we found some more species translating COG as serine. The most exciting fact we found in Escudea asiatica. This yeast translates COG into both leucine and serine. In its proteome, we found a truly random translation of COG with a ratio of 1 to 1. How could that be? We took a closer look at the tRNAs responsible for translating COG. Most species behave as expected. Surprisingly, Saccharomyococcus also encode a leucine tRNA. This must be inactive as COG is only translated as serine. Ascudia asiatica is even more remarkable. It encodes two active COG decoding tRNAs. These are competing and thus causing the ambiguous translation. Ascoidea asiatica is the first species where the non-ambiguity rule of the genetic code is broken. The details of this fascinating story and how Ascoidea copes with its random proteome are described in our publication.